enjoy your states of mind, but see to whom they are coming and going. They are coming and going to awareness. You will find this. Not awareness out there. You, awareness. Not awareness as an abstract ultimate state. You, being there. You cannot deny your own being there. You cannot deny your own existence. You cannot deny that you are awareness. And this can be recognized very easily, moment by moment, throughout everyday activities. So if you enjoy meditation, please continue doing that. But also combine it with everyday living. Don't separate it out. Because it can become felt like Oh, I need to separate myself from the world. Missing the very fact that the world, just like the inner space of silence, is only experienced within awareness. So if you idolize, if you tend to worship one state of mind over the other, if you have this subtle belief that silence, or however you want to call it, is more sacred or more pure than thoughts, chaos and depression, just recognize this thought and see where both depression as well as silence occur. Shift attention from depression to silence, from silence to depression, or from thoughts to silence, from silence to thoughts, just like we did with viewing the inside of the body or the internal world and the outside world, in which you discover that both are appearances on the face of awareness. So to awareness, everything is completely equal. Recognizing this is what we desire. Knowing this ever more clearly provides us with a stability that's not dependent on any state of mind. And so the seeking stops and the discovery continues. Not the discovery of some phantasmagorical states. Not the discovery of the dream per se but the discovery in the sense that it becomes ever more vivid, ever more fulfilling, ever more potent, ever more skillful, ever more beneficial. And so everything that you try to perfect through practices prior to awakening, which has proved useless, at least in my experience, will naturally liberate themselves and naturally perfect themselves if the need to perfect them drops away by seeing that awareness is already perfect, perfectly present. It is due to our realignment with this natural presence, this natural awakeness, that our personality naturally liberates its expressions, its tendencies. It frees it up. And so it seems, relatively, that it becomes ever more bright, um, ever more vivid. And it seems, you could, but this is just a description, that the personal expression becomes ever more transparent to this natural state. And prior to all purification, there has to be awakening to this natural presence, which is as simple as what we have just done. There is nothing beyond this awareness, because everything that's beyond awareness will be experienced within this awareness. Everything you project to be beyond or higher will be simply another appearance within that which knows you are here right now. So recognizing that which knows you are here right now, that is a moment of awakening. And then everything spontaneously starts to enlighten itself, totally free of your belief that something needs to be purified. That's just an arrogant thought. Awareness doesn't care at all about purification. It doesn't care who you are on a personal level. It just doesn't care. You are the only one who is meddling with your thoughts and emotions. Nobody cares. Awareness doesn't care. So drop this effort, give yourself this gift, recognize awareness, completely spontaneous, free from all elaborations or self-analysis. It is spontaneously present. It is spontaneously liberated. And so you are here right now without effort. Knowing this is a moment of awakening. What is there to gain outside of this? Release your seeking and notice this presence. Relax your seeking and notice this presence. And everything that you try to purify will be naturally liberated without ever caring about your thoughts about purification. It's totally spontaneous. It's totally present. All that you're 
trying to find as a person all the beneficial qualities you are looking for like compassion, love for everybody, clear insight, clarity of being, fulfillment. All of these are intrinsic to the very fact that you exist. They are intrinsic to awareness. They are inherent to existing. So come back again and again to the simplicity of being, recognizing that whatever you try, you will always be you. Whatever you experience, you will always be there. Notice this. It is the only stable factor in experience. Experiencing is the only stable factor in experiences. And so no need to pretend to be any type of personality. No need to sit quiet for hours. Having an argument with your partner is equally valid an opportunity to recognize the spontaneity, the spontaneity of presence, the spontaneity and inescapability of awareness, as is your silent samadhi, your silent state of mind. The final duality between silence and non-silence, or non-duality and duality, does not have to be something you drop somewhere along the way. If you gradually and consistently cut the root of this assumption that there is a separation between silence and depression, between awareness and existence, between awareness and the universe. If you drop that assumption by being convinced for one moment, and I see a couple of smiling faces, which is great, for one moment, this spontaneity, I am here, the miracle of being here. In that moment of recognition, you might notice that there is a natural release of stress. There is a natural release of trying and there is a natural release of ridiculous attempts to get somewhere.